Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time to watch my tutorial, my name is Anthony Fajardo and I'm gonna share with you my knowledge in Excel to make your work easier. And if you have more questions or requests, comment below and I will do my best to answer those. I will also upload videos every week, so if you want to know more, Click this button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so, let's get started. So, for today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to use some data validations in Excel. So, here we have whole number, list, text length, and custom. So, for whole numbers column, Let's add data validation that will only allow us to enter a whole number value. So first, let's select the cells and then go to data tab and then click data validation. So in data validation window, we have three tabs, the settings, input message, and error alert. For input message and error alert, this will allow us to set up our input and error messages. And then for settings, this will allow us to set up our validation criteria. So in allow, drop down, let's select whole number. And then for data, we can choose uh, between, not between, and other values as well. So for this instance, let's select greater than. And then, we need to input a minimum number. So, let's enter 1. And then click OK. Now, the cells under the whole numbers column will only accept whole numbers greater than 1. So, let's try to enter some whole numbers. And as you can see, they are accepted. So let's try to enter non whole numbers like decimal and text. So this time, there is an error message that tells us non-whole numbers are not accepted. Now, let's try to add list data validation. Select these cells, and then go to data tab again, and then click data validation. And then in allow drop down, select list. Then in source, click this arrow and then select the cells that you want to be included in the list. So, option 1, option 2, option 3. And then click again this arrow, then click OK. Now, as you can see, we have now here a drop down that has our list so let's try to select one so the values that are included in our list are accepted now let's try to add a value that is not included in our list Uh, 
Now let's try. Again, an error message is displayed because the value that we have entered is not part of the list that we have created. So that's how the list data validation works. Next is text length data validation. This is to validate count of text in a value. So let's select the cells that we want to have text length validations and then again go to data tab then data validation for data validation window let's select text length and then for data let's select equal to and then let's set the length to 10 So for this validation, uh, this will only allow the user to enter a character or text that has 10 count. So for example, let's try to enter a text that has 10 characters. So, as you can see, these words are accepted. Now, let's enter a word that the character count is not equal to 10. So as you can see, there is an error message that tells us that the text count is not equal to 10. So this is how the text length data validation works. For custom data validation, we will use formula to set up our validation criteria. For this example, we will set up a validation where user is only allowed to enter a text value. So let's select the cells, then go to data, then select data validation. Then in settings, um, select custom for allow. And then here we will enter our formula. So let's type equal then is text open parenthesis and then select the first cell and then go back to formula then close parenthesis and then let's click ok now the custom data validation has been completely set up now let's try to enter a text value so as you can see uh, all the text values are accepted now let's try to enter a numeric value So here, the error message is displayed 
because we have entered a numeric value. So that's how our custom data validation works. You can also enter other formulas depending on what you want to achieve. So that's all for our session for today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you on my next videos. Bye-bye.